guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 14 of The Rising of the Shield Hero, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. If you wait it into the dead of fucking night to kidnap a fucking sister, bitch. Slut pig, what, what's your fucking deal? Damn. I'm guessing you was not loved as a kid. I, I mean, but no, your mom probably didn't love your ass. I mean, who would blame you? You're like, damn, shit. I bet you she also been corrupt by the damn cult. Can we not call her a woman? Can we call her a bitch, please? Mm -hmm. She doesn't care that she destroyed that. Keep it. <laughs> that is worse than the Flynn Rider <laughs> pitching. I don't want to know who that is. She looks like that one girl from Bible Master. Uh, uh, feels at that part are like I can't. See, it's a little weird that they show her and then they show the people of the church. I mean, come on, that's automatically assuming that she's a part of the damn church and she's a cult. She's in the cult. It's so obvious. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Allergies. Hold on. Shit, it's up there. Damn it. <laughs> Why did it have to be up on my TV? I'll get a doctor.
phone. It's not your phone. See, she gonna be a better queen than her sister and her father. She cares about people, and that's the one thing I like about her. Uh, rather than her bitch of a sister, like, what the fuck her bitch of a sister care about? Nothing. Sorry, I had to address. And your? I will find another hair on the episode. Like, damn. Of course you would say that. Go lay down, Cody. No, go lay down. Lay down. Huh? I don't know. But, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, you say that. <laughs> I mean, can't you just wait like a week? Uh, okay. I need me to get supplies? Like something? So what, you think he's going to sell you out? No. Good, good job. Listen to your girl. Yes! <laughs> you want to play now? <laughs> You're just speaking your mind, bro. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God, you so precious, my baby. Mm -hmm. 
You ain't going to do shit. You sure you need sleep? Then you're rolling. If something happens to you, you can't roll, right? Come on. Nightmare. Oh. She has to be. Whoever she was talking about is probably dead, I'm guessing. Damn it. That guy, right? I don't know why, but like first impressions looking at this dude, he seems like he's an abuser. And I mean, but I tell you, it was like, mm, let me fuck this, <laughs> let me fuck this man up. So something. Melty. But what about fetal? Yeah. 
Yeah, but Melty's gone now, Beetle. leave without her. I'm just saying. She's practically, she's practically family now. My God. Y'all are y'all own little tight-knit family. So she's got to be together with you guys. I mean, damn. Yeah. At that time, you couldn't defend, but now you can. Mommy! I'm hoping that they do show more. Like, maybe next week? Because I feel like just saying... <clears throat> the flashbacks are like just the tip of an iceberg, so I need like more. <laughs> Damn. Um. Of course, mm -hmm. all back to that. Still cold. I wouldn't be surprised if Raptalia kills this dude today. Don't be afraid. That could be where they held them, I'm guessing. And then possibly Reptalia came out, but her friend never did. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh shit, Raph Talia, what the fuck are you about to do? Like, I just got that feeling all she she sees nothing but red right now. Like and no matter what, you just kept going. Don't. I say don't, and you did it. You did it. You freaking did it. What? Why? Oh my god, no, it's so mean. So freaking mean. I mean, okay, so then 15 has to be more about her past. I'm hoping that's gotta be. I mean, uh, you know what? And I cannot believe I'm gonna say this like, Idol Summer <laughs> reminds me of one character that I cannot stand from the Persona 5 series, and that's fucking Kamashita. Like, come on, man. To sit there and not only, like, He's very, because of the fact is they're both people who would torture the crap about it. The different thing is, like, I also never slept with the demi-humans. Let's thank God about that. But to still sit there and torture someone and the possibility the friend that she made is dead. I don't know. But, like, just the significance and, like, the signs. It just, I'm assuming her friend's dead. That she, out of everyone, she's the only one who came out alive. And I feel bad for her because, I mean, come on. She's the best girl. Nothing should happen to best girls. Nothing should happen to best girl's friends. But, like, that always happens. And it freaking sucks. But, you know what? He's going to get his dues next week. He's going to get his ass kicked. I'm hoping. Hell, I kill him. Or let him, you know, atone for his freaking crimes. Like, oh, yeah, hey, I'm sorry for doing this, 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 that. There you go. There you go. About that, yeah. Good. Hey, good, because I swear to God, if we would have got, like, an episode that was not about her backstory, I would have been a little bit upset, but then I would have been like, okay, it's gonna come before the show ends, but honestly, like, mm -mm, I think next week is gonna be, th this was sad, like, there were some sad moments in this episode, but I feel like next week is going to be even more sadder going into her backstory, because... This is years before she met Nalfa, before she could really trust someone else because of the fact that her parents are dead. She has friends, and she can still trust friends that she has. But going into this, um, this slavery and being a slave for as many years as she was until she had her freedom and then was captured by the guy who sold her to um, Nalfa, you know... After that, she probably hasn't had anyone who cared for her like Malfemi has. And, oh god, this might really hurt me next week. Because I don't really want to see her get tortured and, like, whipped and beat. And, mm-mm. It's gonna fucking hurt me. Like, my heart is gonna break next week. And I don't want that. And just probably seeing her friend going through that, too. Because, like I said, I, like... 150% believe she's dead. I mean, if they would have, if she would have been here, she would have shown her face by now. But in my heart, that girl's dead. There's, there's no way in hell that she survived. Only Reptalia was the only survivor. Maybe a couple of others because there are some people, some demi humans that are currently slaves. And if her friend was still alive, she currently was would be doing like mowing or no mowing 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 that's what i mean 
with the freaking horse. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 14 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 15. Bye, guys.